just to try to get away from the heat. Uh, that's been the story the last couple days. The story again today and through 9 o'clock on Friday as that heat advisory now been extended for all of our Alabama counties through that time period. Right now, 78 here in Birmingham. You'll feel every bit of that walking outside. 74 in Sylacauga. Up in Pell City, we're 75, 77 in Tuscaloosa this morning. It's warm. It's muggy. Dew points once again in the mid-70s. And you don't, like I said yesterday, you don't have to know what this number means. The higher that number in combination with temperatures just makes it feel very oppressive outside. That's what we'll have again today. Clean sweep of the radar, but with dew points where they're at, we will eventually see those pop ups. None for our early morning commute, partly cloudy, patchy fog, mid to upper 70s at sunrise at about 543. Sunsets at 8 o'clock, but before then we'll see isolated showers and thunderstorms once again with highs in the middle 90s. Here's what that could look like as we go through the day today. Once again, we'll see early development in our northeastern counties thanks to some ore graphic lifting. Otherwise, it's going to be very random once again today with those pop up thunderstorms. A lot of us staying dry and that will allow those temperatures to surge into the middle and even upper 90s. Heat indices by the mid afternoon reaching the triple digits in most spots as we head into the evening hours. A pulse of energy moving into Tennessee and North Georgia could put our best rain chances up I-59 Cherokee, Etowah, Calhoun counties later on today. So I'll leave you with this. A look at our highs today, 92 to 96. Tack on another 10 degrees for that heat index mid afternoon. There is relief, though, in sight by Saturday. Higher rain chances should help bring those temperatures down into the 90s. I think we could all say it'd be nice to get some soaking rain next week. Temperatures back to closer to normal with low 90s forecast.